This is Code.org, and I want to talk about Hackathon. The Hackathon's great. It is an app that you're going to want to take time on. Today, I want to focus in on the user interface, right? The screens that they see that the person can interact with. This is a place my students have often missed points, and it's one of the easier parts. So I just want to make sure you got this covered, that you understand what you really want to do to get all those points that you deserve and to design an app that's usable, that's functional. So let's take a look real quick at our requirements. Keep in mind here, at least three screens, but Mr. I only, no, 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 nope. Right, instructions, at least three. All screens can be easily navigated uh, through the interface, which means no dead ends, right? Applications that are confusing, that you do not understand where to go or how to get to the next part, People have roughly a three second tolerance for this in apps, and I'm not kidding, three seconds, and then they disengage. So this would be really bad if someone's gonna delete the app because they just don't know how to use it. They provide a great example of a paper prototype. By the way, guys, paper prototypes, if you work at Google or Facebook or wherever, and you propose a new app, you're gonna sit down with a pen and paper and draw one of these. This isn't garbage, this is what happens for developers, because you need to plan it out before you spend all that money and time developing. So here's their three example screens, and it is a good example. I'm gonna show you the basics of what you wanna have so your app is usable and so you get, well, a good grade. Okay, in order to have a usable app, you want it to have no dead ends. Let me head into design mode. First, I'm gonna rename screen, the first screen, I guess my start screen. And I'll go ahead and I'm gonna inform the user what my application is, right? So I'll pick a fake data set, I guess, for this, just as an example. Make sure to pick time choosing your data sets. Um, I don't know, what's this? Uh, cool. Um, let's say then I'll, fake data set for this is dogs. And again, this is gonna focus on design though, but I wanna know what my app's about. So I'll call this app title text because you need good IDs, super important. And I'll say dog, let's do alliteration, dog data dig maybe. Yeah, we're digging for dog data. Again, usable, interesting. And then you want to make this readable. You wanna make it usable. Three screens is important, but it can't look like garbage. Teachers are human too. And if I look at an app and I'm like, you spent four minutes on how it looks, I'm going to assume you didn't do the most critical analysis of your code as you developed it. I would pick a theme, real easy way to make it look nice. And now let me go ahead back to my text and start fancifying this. 48 maybe. Maybe I'll change up this just to make it pop a bit. Boom. Okay, you get the idea. You want it something eye-catching. You want it to look nice. So dog data dig. And then you're going to want to have some type of image most likely. You want it to be engaging. Now, depending on how title image, make sure you are hitting these IDs. Depending on how you are developing yours, you might have one or two buttons. Instead of importing an image, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use an icon for this. But you could also do a link to an image or import it directly. Let's see if they have dog icons. Nope. What about a bone? Nope. Uh, data. Uh, table. That's boring. Okay, I'm going to look for something fun. Ooh, perfect. We'll do that. Dog, data, dig. Maybe I'll uh, give this some color to it. Sure. And again, spend some time making your app look nice hopefully better than mine and then a button depending on your application if you are going to have two different areas that they can access or change data you would annex you would want access to both those pages i'm going to just have a single one and so this is going to be the start button for this application and i'll say start here let me go size up the font and the button itself something like that great so this might be my first page and now i'm going to go ahead and do a new screen and what I would suggest is you have a screen that will output data and then you have your options, depending on what you're going to do with the um, app, with the functionality of how you use the data. So I'm gonna have a text area and be clear, to be clear on this, text input is where you would write in text, maybe they type in their name. Text area is where you're gonna output text. So I'll have a text area initially and I'm gonna do another label and say, dog info label maybe 
dog info. And so initially I might pull a lot of information from the list. So I'll just grab that initial list data and output some of it here, right? So this will be an unfiltered list. I'm just going to show them what we have. And then I can have a button that would go to the next screen. And I might even make this bigger, but you guys get the point. Um, text area, I'm going to say uh, info text area, maybe, right? And then you don't necessarily need to put filler text, but just so you know what's going to be here, I'll say list of dog info. And then maybe I'll have a button. Maybe you'll want to drop down. And my button could be, let's say I'm going to uh, sort dog by size, or I'm going to output biggest dog, uh, or I'll alphabetize the list. Any of these things, right? So I'll say biggest dog BTN, right? And then this will say, find big dog, all right? Or maybe I want to alphabetize. Alpha, I might even do ABC dog list, right? Something like this and alphabetize. And I'll make this a bit bigger. And so initially when they load into this, they'll see some standard info, just the list not alphabetized. And then when they click this, alphabetize. Now, maybe you want more options than that. Maybe you're really going for an awesome grade on this. So you'll have something that says uh, filter or something like that. And then you'll have a drop down menu. This is also a great way to do it. And your drop down menu might have options like biggest dogs, right? And then uh, smallest dogs. And then maybe. Uh, oldest dogs and that will be the dogs that live the longest i think you get the point here right uh, you will have something where they can interact and then the next page uh, will be a will be accessible to them now on that next page i'll say options drop down on that me next page i'm actually going to duplicate this page for ease and this is screen one so i definitely want to change that let me click on my screen and i'll say info page maybe or info screen and now I'm going to duplicate this because I know I need a third screen to get full points. I've duplicated it. Let me click on this screen somewhere. And I would say uh, filtered screen, filtered screen, because this is going to have that filtered. Wow. Can I not screen? Yikes. Let's make sure. Nope. I did it there too. Filtered screen. Okay. And then this filtered screen will have their filtered info. So I'll want to change the label info and then and you do want to make the page a bit distinct so they know they're not just getting the same page um, i'm going to get rid of this on this filter screen and maybe i'll have a start over button so restart button restart that would go back to the main screen because again and again and again and again you cannot have dead pages uh, you can't hit a page that does not lead to anywhere and I'll say filter text area. And this is what we'll output that info uh, of in that dog info. And then let me go ahead and add an image just to make this a bit more visually appealing. I'm going to again go with their icons uh, filter image. Maybe a rocket ship. Maybe this shows filtering. Um, it would be somewhat up to me. I would probably just Google on this uh, to find something that fits a bit better. But here, since I'm outputting information, maybe I'll do a megaphone. And you might not think you care about aesthetics, but again, teachers are humans. You want this to look nice. You want this to look thought out. I'm going to duplicate this and say image two or uh, And let me move this over. Maybe I'll have two of these, something like this. Let me move this list down. And that's where that info will be outputted. So keep in mind, and I could even, if I want to get real crazy, who knows? Maybe I want to change the screen a bit to, I don't know. Oh, that's real ugly, right? You just want it to be clear that you spent some time on the application. 
All right. So once again, main screen, you need to start button that functions and for functionality on event, you need to know the ID. So on the event that the, this is why you want to make sure you do this, right? Start button is clicked, quick ha. You want to tell it where to go. That would be a set screen. And here's my info screen. This is where I'm going to filter and output all of the dog info. You want to grab the information from these. You, the key things to remember is one, make it look good to make sure there are three screens and, uh, three you need that interactivity you need it to make sense and you cannot have any dead ends the other way you could have three screens is if i wanted to do just the largest and smallest dogs maybe instead of having a drop down here i could do a button on my main screen that says smallest dogs largest dogs and that would take it to two separate pages again and again and again the most missed things on this are missing one or two screens just having a single one and dead ends you cannot have a page that does not go or does not access other pages people would n no longer engage in your application and it would be not as useful so good luck on this have fun with it make something that looks awesome and works even better